Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to the stream and the purple website. We're here. We are here. First of all, uh, how are how's the volume between Carrie and I? This we don't usually do two mic setups for these streams, so we don't really know settings exactly. Yeah, if this sounds terrible, please let us know. Please do. Hello, everyone. And thank you all for the hype train already. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm a bit louder than you. Carrie's a bit louder. Okay. I am much louder. Uh, louder. Much closer to the mic than he is. Yeah. I was too quiet when we tested. Still figuring it out a little bit. I, I bumped her volume down, but if she's too quiet at any point, just let us know. Or I could just... Um, I could just whisper or talk a little bit Could also bit whisper. More. It could be a very chill time. This is, um, my Fluttershy impression. <laughs> it's pretty good. My little pony. It's been a minute since I watched that. <laughs> Same. Like, ten years more. Hope you're all having a good evening or morning or whatever. Are you ready to get very excited slash angry and then excited again about fruit? I am. I am as well. Can is that the controller for me? Yes. Can I have it? Yes. Here you go. Here we'll, we'll go ahead and we're we'll go ahead and kick off and get started here. Over to the game. <gasps> we begin. You do so much fancy magics. So, if you've not seen this yet, and I find that hard to believe, well, this is how you play. <laughs> and this time. Unlike last time we showed it on our video, it, it's in English. Yes, yes. The uh, English version of the game was released uh, on the North American eShop about a week before the video actually came out. Uh, <laughs> we'd already recorded it at that point, though, so it was too late. We did a one-off of this a uh, few days ago on Playframe because it's a great old time. It's basically, you know, th threes or like 2048 is, the, I guess, the more popular uh, follow up or no clone <laughs> of, I don't. of threes. Um, no, <laughs> this is basically that, but with fruit, and you're dropping it in here. Wait, which one? Which one did um, Big Giant Circles do music for? Threes, and then 2048 okay. came out basically and ate their lunch. copying it and ate their lunch. Which so yeah, which is a bit of a bummer. But uh, so we never talk about it, and that's why we didn't mention it. That's totally <laughs> the only reason. Yeah, it's. Because Jimmy deserves all the credit for his well, music. Exactly, like, because it's not exactly that game, but there's definitely a DNA of that sort of thing of combine same thing to make larger thing, build to larger and larger thing. Uh, you can see sort of like the chain of combinations over there at the bottom right. The evolution. The evolution circle. You know. Some might say. It's like the circle of life, but different. For every combination... You make, you get points. The bigger the fruits you're combining, the more points they're worth. Uh, and you basically are just trying to keep on, like, stay alive as long as you can. As soon as you overflow, the little bin is game over, and that's your high score. Yes. And my high score, I think, lifetime is like 27 something. I don't remember what, but it's not very good. So. It's pretty good. I've been practicing so much. In light of how much I've been practicing, that's not very good. <laughs> People have definitely scored higher, but it is... Like, it's a quite challenging game. It's very simple as a game, but extremely fun. You can, like, you can... You didn't even need it to be in English to immediately understand, ah, this is how this works. Yeah. Very intuitive. And it's just a good time. I highly recommend it. It's on the North American eShop for, like, three bucks or something. Nice. It's way better than what I paid for it. Yeah. Which was too many Japanese yen because I had to get a, a larger eShop gift card than it cost. Yeah. Do but not now recommend. you can buy about 16 or $17 worth of games on the Japanese North America or Japanese shop if you'd like. This is true. So. That's not something that I expect to happen again, but then I never expected it to happen in the first place. So, Could who's happen. to say? Oh, that's not <laughs> what I thought would happen. I misread which fruit that was. I thought it was a decapon. It's it alright, it's the first round. This is true. It's practice. It's all practice. 
if you think about it. Thank you to everyone, by the way, for for the subscriptions and the resubs and all that. I'll say yeah. some more thanks toward the end. I just wanted to get us moving because we got a little bit limited time. Yeah. Because Carrie's got to get ready to go do a desert bus. I've got to get ready to go stream something else, which yes. this is practice for. So see, it's all practice yes. when you think about it. You're playing a much more fun game here. Well, there are fun things about desert bus. It's true, just not the game part. <laughs> That's kind of the whole deal. Valid. Absolutely valid. But yeah, I'm taking a break from packing, which I have not finished doing, even though I am heading over to Victoria tomorrow. Yes. So I'm making smart decisions. Oh, I should have let that go. Well, let's see what the what the pineapple's gonna do. Thank you for the 14 months, Ashton. Hope you're having a nice <laughs> evening. <laughs> see you in a few days in Victoria. Yep. Carrie the will desert be bus. taking part in the Dawn Guard, meaning she'll be up at, well, starting at 6 a.m. each uh, morning every day. Yes. Going till noon. For some reason. I don't know why you chose that time. I it, guess somebody has to. Well, it's when all of the people who like the coffee go, and then um, it ended up being like a really fun group of folks to vibe with. I guess. Which makes sense. Granted, I bet people like coffee on the other shifts, too. No. Did, it, did nobody tell you that part? No, nobody on the other shifts like coffee. But you can like coffee and actually do no. a later shift. No. I've tried. You know? I've it, I've been on Alpha Flight. I've been on Zeta. Yeah? Everybody there hates coffee. Oh. Consistently. All of them. Every single one. These are lies. These are lies and slanders. And they're not true at all, I'm sure. It's going to be a lot of early mornings for you, which I don't envy. Mm, I've been doing it for about a month now, just to prepare myself, because mm -hmm. I am a night owl, and hopefully that'll make it easier. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. Daylight savings time helps. True. Because, like, it doesn't feel as early as it is. Yeah. Yeah. Someday when we have all finally gotten rid of this daylight savings time nonsense, that fall rollback will be the only part I miss. Same. But it'll be worth it. Definitely. Hey, look at you already getting up to a honeydew. Hooray, honeydew. Awful lot of people in the comments of the video rolling in to speak out in defense of <laughs> honeydew. That's not where that was meant to go. Shocking number of people pretending to like that fruit. Pretending, yes. That's what they were doing. I will hand it to them that I probably have only had the bad kind. Like bad honeydew. Like I've probably had very little actually good honeydew. The the various sort of like fruit cocktail type things that honeydew clutters mm -hmm. is kind of an overabundance of the honeydew that I have had. Yeah. They, they say if you get good honeydew, then it, that makes all the difference. And that makes sense. That's true for a lot of stuff. I still would argue that a mediocre orange is still very good. I and think that's a good point. If you have to have only the best possible version of a fruit for it to be decent, mm -hmm. then it does bring down the total appreciation I have for said fruit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, if I if it has to be optimal conditions for it to be a time worth having, then I, I feel like I'll go, I'll instead go with fruit that are usually good even in mediocre form. I think that's a fair way to go. Like, I will take a mid-range fruit that's consistent over a high-quality fruit that's got a spotty reputation because sometimes it's not very fresh or yeah. not very ripe. That's the word, ripe. Some folks f pointing out that, like, cantaloupe is arguing that cantaloupe is worse, and I will give them that. I also think cantaloupe is a mediocre fruit at best. So, at yeah, the and why risk is there a of... honeydew pole? <laughs> <laughs> at risk of angering people in chat, I'm not sure I could tell the difference between honeydew and cantaloupe in a taste test. And I think that really speaks to the quality of honeydew and probably the quality of cantaloupe that I've had. Yeah. Neither of them come out favorably in that <laughs> in that scenario. 
just like in terms of the ones that I have had, I've never been able to really tell the difference. I will. I think I have a slight preference for honeydew over cantaloupe. Yeah. It's got a cleaner, like a less um, warm taste. It's a weird thing to say about a fruit, but cantaloupe has like a warmth to the flavor of it huh. that honeydew doesn't for me. And I will like, in fairness to the, oh no, no. the grapes have escaped. That was escape. not a very great run. This is a pretty good start. Here, mm. you can you can go. That was your practice one. You can you can go you again. Let me go again. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll trade off after that. This is how I know you loved me. <laughs> okay. But in fairness to the honeydew and cantaloupe, it is not like it is not good marketing for them that most of the time you will experience those two fruits. It is with them being used to kind of overstuff and pack out these little fruit cocktail type things where they're accompanying a lot of other very exciting fruit and just you mean cramming up the works and filling up space. Like yeah. it's it's making them come off worse. When the fact they're... that they're usually experienced in a subpar way. When they're being used to rob you of more pineapple and strawberry. Yeah. This is true. No one should be allowed to rob me of more pineapple. That shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't. It should be illegal. I should be allowed to eat in a, as much pineapple as I want, even if it's eating me back while I do it. Oh my gosh. Your alarm. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's the alarm that's telling me to go get the cat's food ready so that I can start winding down my evening, which is not going to happen right this moment. No. Later. Not while there are pears combining into peaches. Exactly. Sorry for the loud noise, though. It's also worth pointing out, like, pretty much all of the fruit you're getting in those little fruit cups, most of the time, is pretty low-tier oh, versions bad. of every fruit. Like, yeah. no fruit comes out looking great in those things. The oranges are bitter. The pineapple is, like, underripe. The strawberries are underripe. Yeah. It's never good fruit in a fruit cup. It's a real shame. Even so. Maybe maybe that's the thing. Maybe what we don't like is fruit cups. Pre-cut mixes of fruit. Maybe it's not honeydew or cantaloupe. Maybe it's just fruit cups that we don't like. Maybe a bit. But like even in that subpar experience, I'm always... Go on. Go on. Wishing there was less of the honeydew and the cantaloupe in there. They look like something. They're reminding me of something. Oh, well, they're gone now. Doesn't matter what it is. Sorry, you were saying fruit cup? Mm, it wasn't important. I... It's just more honeydew and cantaloupe slander. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was distracted by watching the peaches and trying to think of what they remind me of. Hmm gonna bug me. It is on... We, sh we can definitely top 2,000 in this stream. I have no doubts about that whatsoever. We can. If we could top 3,000, that would be an impressive thing indeed. Did I think I've only done that like twice. I ever. am mad at you. Like, my top score is somewhere in the 3,300 range, and that was a real lucky run. My top score is in the three-something range. I'm picking up on some bitterness a little bit, what? some resentment no. about no. relative fruit I am proud of you. Scores. <laughs> it's... I think it's really cool. Sounds like it. <laughs> Sounds cool. You've done a great job. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I love this game more than you. Why does it love you more than me? <laughs> Not fair. So unfair. I've given you so much loyalty. Ah, oh, that didn't. I was hoping, but it did not. That's okay. 
Hmm. The best part of a fruit cup is the juice in the fruit cup. A mix of all the sweet and tannins. Ooh. The rest of the fruit in the cup is just really a big pull. You know, yes. that's a pretty solid argument, actually. I hadn't thought of it that way, but I think I agree. The best part of fruit cup is fruit juice in your cup? Like in a real junk food sort of way. Like it's just, it's total sugar water with sort of fruit. Like it's sugar, it's syrup, basically. It's well, You're drinking okay. fruit syrup, but now, there it's are, very tasty. There are two ways that can go. There is fruit in syrup. Like they do make that fruit in light syrup or whatever. Sure. But then they also just put fruit in a cup and the the fruit the juice of the fruit is in the cup as well. Yeah. Those are different things. One of them is much tastier than the other. I I don't like the syrup stuff as much as I like the the fruit cup juice. Yeah. It is pretty good. It's a it's a kind of pretty good sweetness that is good in that small quantity any more than that and I think I would start feeling <laughs> pretty ill pretty quickly. Hmm. I would not want to drink a tall glass of that stuff. I guess I've never really thought of it. I've had like just straight pineapple juice. My brother used to cook this thing where um He'd get like a canned, a can of pine of crushed pineapples or whatever, and I would just drink the juice from it while he was finishing up cooking the delicious food. And pineapple juice is legit very good. Yes. Hmm. What about Trifat. the canned cranberry gel stuff? Good or bad? So, I don't have a strong opinion across the board on cranberry mixtures in general but I do really have like I I think they're fine in general but I have a special like appreciation for the kind that my mom does because it has like little bits of orange rind and walnuts I think in it and I really like hers so hers is not the gel kind mm. it's the like bag of frozen cranberries that you then add sugar to to and chop up real fine, which, I think. I mean, that's which is more legit, I think. Yeah. Seems that way. When it comes to foods that people eat for Thanksgiving, I don't think you can really... Legit is whatever your family did. That is true. Or whatever you decided. It, it seems like a like, more legit recipe of like home making the thing, mm. uh, of like actually preparing tra more traditional uh, in that way. Maybe. Less processed potentially but then she did use a food processor for it sure that's true so you know so in the same way of like as someone who like makes salsa by dicing up veggies and doing a whole lot of other sort of stuff as opposed to opening the jar of <laughs> paste or whatever mm -mm -mm. Uh, seems more legit seems like I mean, by that metric, my chili that you claim to enjoy is not very legit at all. Doesn't matter. It's very good. <laughs> so you say. Real chili could learn a thing or two. <laughs> Thanks for the five gifted subs, by the way. Uh, uh -huh. Or no, the gifted sub to to Dan Jones. <laughs> Chaos Dan. Carrie, I appreciate that. Hi, Dan. Also, my sympathies, Eterna. I saw that post about you trying to solve the... <laughs> encoding problems with your own setup right now and uh i'm glad we're providing some distraction because i if anyone knows how angry you can get troubleshooting technical things i <laughs> am there i'm with you i get it completely i go from zero to furious so fast so <laughs> yeah i was i definitely was not meant for like a career in tech art or tech animation or tech most of anything Nothing gets you angry quite like anything technological going wrong. Yes. It is a special, it's got a special place mm -hmm. in your experience. Oh, come on. Just, just shimmy a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> this one's going quite well. Why would you say that? Just an observation. Why? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Gotta say something. There's a microphone. Well, yeah, but it doesn't have to be things designed specifically to ruin my chances at hitting 2K. You can do 
Hmm. Have people seen what's going on with the escapist recently? I just found out about it. I haven't looked too closely into it. I'll be like, speaking as someone who's incredibly biased, I'm fine with that site going away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I do wish best of luck to anybody who, like, the oh, Yahtzee and everybody sure. who's left. Uh, like, I, like, I have no doubt they will all, like, do quite well in their future endeavors. Uh, but I as see. one with history of that site, when it was under different ownership, to be, to clarify, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. I don't remember. have strong love for the escapists. I can't even remember when the last time was that I thought of the escapists. Honestly, it's been several years, but but that's just because, yeah, not my, not where I get my entertainment. No, and, and Yahtzee's always been the main draw there, so, like, with Which is Yahtzee fair, leaving, yeah. that pretty much just signals, like, that's the end of that. Uh, but it sounds like video teams already made a new channel, they're all moving out, they're basically just, yeah, it's like, again, the, the people involved who have, have all departed, uh, like, with the announcement today or yesterday, whenever it was, I do wish them all the best, and, uh, Good luck to all of them. I'm just buying time now. There's not even any hope. It's just... I'm in Fruit Doom. We're all in Fruit Doom when we're playing this game. It's just a matter of how high you can make that score go up. Until Doom arrives. Mm. There's still... There is still time for combining some larger fruits... And getting another couple hundred out there. Also for combining some smaller fruits. That as well. Just to, you know... Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure if it'll actually wedge down. I don't know if it will. Nope. nope. Still, Your it's turn. a higher score. And now it's my turn. <laughs> and now I get to read chat on my phone because we're good at setting this up. So, sorry if we're not as responsive now that I'm the one who needs to do the read. Fortunately, this is a game that's very easy to just look away from for a second to check chat. Not all games are like that. This is true. Mm -hmm. I do love how chill and also like weirdly stressful it can be. It seems a lot of my favorite chill games are ones that do have moments of more stress depending on how like wound up you are about how well you're doing mm, mm -hmm. I find like many metro and motorways have very chill vibes but they also can get very like ah, things are getting out of hand they also have like this really really pleasant sound landscape mm -hmm. so even as long as you're not panicking, when I listen to those games, it doesn't matter how unchill the the game is getting for you. I'm having a chill time. <laughs> I'm usually having a chill time as well. Like, uh, cause I'm not like, I'm trying to do well, but I'm not getting super wound up about scores or anything like that. It's just pretty relaxing. Yeah. But it seems like <laughs> that is not the case for all viewers, which I understand. I guess it is one of those things where if you have a greater understanding of the game, it might be stressful watching someone play because they're not making the choices you would make. Yeah, and like it depends on how. It, darn it, oranges. Oranges always bounce. They do bounce more a lot than they more. think that you that they will. Mm -hmm. Always, I've started like actively compensating my orange placement because I know how bouncy they are. They are bouncy. Such a pleasant game, though. And very hard not to sing along with. I do feel like they need to, like, I, this is very good music. They mm -hmm. should add another one. I guess they have. <laughs> they've got the, they've got the little Halloween theme skin event you can turn on which has different music and uh, slightly different art in a few places and they should keep that going because I don't think they expected so many people to be playing so much of this I don't know I think there's a charm to it and like something about it works kind of like 
Like people describe the scent of popcorn in movie theaters. If you hear the song, you want to play the fruit game. Yeah. It does have that Pavlovian sort of a response. Yeah. And it's like, ah, and here I am having a good time playing the fruit game. Yeah. Yep. I think when we were first, like when I first started playing it, you <laughs> made a comment about <laughs> how it would be really creepy echoing in the hallways of like an empty building or something. True. But that's true for <laughs> yeah. most upbeat, peppy, yeah. kind of child, like sort of things you'd expect to see it here in like children's media, like little kids sort of thing. Yeah. Can you think of what it was that you said would never get creepy? Hmm. Do you remember? What sort of tune would, even in the circumstances like a horror movie, like very echoey down a dark hallway, still not actually be... Oh, yeah. I think it was like the baby elephant. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was what tune. you said. I think even that one, like, yeah, it would be like a little spookier, but I think it would still just sound like a pretty good time, actually. <laughs> You just, <laughs> like, it's, unless you seriously distort it. Even then, even you, you'd, then. Have to, you'd have to pitch that into a minor key. Like, that. there's no yeah. way. <laughs> there's, like, there's no dampening the happiness and the enthusiasm of that piece of music. Can't be done. I also like just playing the, here's the same inputs, see if we get the same output game, where, where I ask you if you remember a thing and... Yeah, that's always I'm glad fun. you did. I hadn't thought about that <laughs> since the conversation. I have. But it's a fun thought experiment. <laughs> this is getting a little bit apple-y. It's true. In ways I would prefer it not. Maybe you should apple-eye yourself to the game. That was a reach, but I will allow it. <laughs> All right, getting this back under control. Okay, so sort of. question. Uh huh. Do you feel the strong need to drop both cherries down onto the grape? They're not cherries. Both strawberries down onto the grape. I feel the strong desire to. I don't trust they would reach. I, I don't trust it would even be a good move. Like in but general, but I want if, to. Yeah, like I've. There are definitely some larger strategies that I've not fully figured out whether like. Grape is a nice shape for keeping a fruit wedged against the wall. Yeah. It works pretty well that way. You like, can... in, in general, the more stuff you have down at the bottom that you can't reach and combine, the worse. Because that, that yeah. just means that stuff is piling up. And, I mean, if they're small fruits, great. They're not. They're at least easy to squeeze into the cracks and they're not going to be big, major obstructions. Better than having big ones down there. Mm -hmm. But, like, you keep leaving small ones down there, they're going to stay down there either forever or combine into bigger ones and still be harder to get to. So it feels like like trying to reach lar larger, trying to reach any fruit you can to combine it and keep on making it viable for combinations with other stuff seems worthwhile. But in this case, like, I don't trust that the strawberry would reach down there. I think that it would eventually and you might have to wait. Yeah. Because I think that the peach would slowly climb up. Well, let's let's find out because worst case, yeah. Uh, oh no. Worst case, we got another grape here, and that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said anything. Well, no, that, that's ultimately, I think, what I would have chosen to do. Uh, Could pry the, the apple off the wall. Maybe. Yeah, let's. Well, not now. Work on that a little bit. Uh, that's fine. Not great, but fine. There's an orange, and ah, ah, that's fine too. Okay. This is going Places. pretty okay. Yeah. I want to see you just top 3,000, like, apparently you do so easily. It only literally twice <laughs> happens. <laughs> only twice. Not that easily. I've only played five games, and it happened twice. <laughs> I feel like after this round, we should... Or, like, I may do a, uh, when it comes to my turn again, do a challenge round. I found it fun sometimes just as a sort of, like, a, 
All right, like empty cash in your brain. Do a round where you don't move the stick at all. You just drop fruit and it's all down to timing. Mm. Uh, like inevitably your score is a, is a good bit lower, but not as low as you would think. It's <laughs> weird how well it works sometimes. Uh, mm. Let's do that. And... Mm. That's not ideal, but... Eh, yeah, I don't... shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Okay. It's fine, though. Yeah, they might touch. Yeah. Give them a moment. There's that one, Yay. and then... Oh, and look at what you can do. Hooray! Probably going to work okay. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Honeydew. All right. Heck yeah. Have you two tried a zero-point game? I don't know Wait, what that is. Is that... Wait, is that trying to like get <gasps> end the game with the worst score possible? Is that Ooh. the idea? Or oh, oh, a zero point game trying to drop stuff and never combine anything. That's yeah. interesting. That's an interesting challenge. I like that idea. I like that challenge because it inverts the expectation entirely. Yeah, you have to completely it feels, strategize differently. Yeah, it feels like something I would be good at, but I don't <laughs> think that's true. <laughs> it's what seems it's what it feels like is always happening <laughs> yeah. when you're wanting yeah. the opposite to happen. But I expect that as soon as you actually tried to do it, that would not be the case. Exactly. Okay, got another apple and uh, sure, orange, good. Now I'm going to get a whole bunch of little small ones that are going to cause problems. Always. Eh, okay. Well done, though. Well done. Keeping it together. I, too, love the little faces. They're really fun. They're very good. It's a good touch. No, a good touch is when two honeydew kiss. And yes, because then, then that creates a watermelon. The sweet cat. And that would be nice to see. That's a good touch. The other oh. thing you said, not so much. No. Oh, faces. No, the faces are good as well. But I wanted to make my joke, so. Oh, no, don't roll. Yeah, combining those two actually, is not going to be super easy. But honestly, getting one over here, probably for the best. Yeah, I was going to say, actually not the end of the world if one of them does roll. Yeah, I would be fine with that. Better than having another apple over here. Yeah. Which it can happen. It's just not, certainly not a objective to aim for. Well, this should fix that. Hopefully. Or eventually. Soon. Oh, Let's you leave that there for when it eventually does decide to get its act together. There we go. Get you an apple over there, but also. Things can shift a bit, and that's fine. Oh, boy. Also fine, I guess. That's kind of okay, yeah. Acceptable. That's less okay, but all right. It'll have to do. It 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 is what it is now. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, yes. Eh. Wait, you could rescue the cherry. Not with that strawberry in the way. It might move. It's only... It might move eventually. Mm. But I don't mm. think it would... It was only an orange to, to shift, and a cherry can easily do that. I suppose that's true. Now it's got to shift the the grape as well, and I'm not confident that it could. But that's okay. Oh, but, a lot of tiny fruits back to back here. Also, I am not a good person to give you advice. With our scores and their spread, I think you are well within your rights to ignore any advice I give. Eh. Sometimes be and, it's sometimes easier to see these things when you're not the one playing and eager mm -hmm. to sort of drop the next thing, I feel like. That's fair. Ooh, you're getting a whole spin. Yeah, that I'm was doing fun. a little bit of a shift in a settle. Oh, since the show and yell with the Dans, you, you've watched almost every action button video. Excellent. <gasps> That's honestly a pretty good achievement given how long they are. Wait, and wait. I'm, I hope you've enjoyed. Hey, thank you for the gifted subs, Chaos Carry. Oh, thank you, Chaos Carry. But also, wait, some of those action button review games, you're not supposed to... Games? Videos. You're not supposed to watch all of them. He specifically said. True. Right? You, you can ignore them, though. On the Cyberpunk videos? Isn't it? 
It's true. On his cyberpunk review, which is so technically his longest long. of all, but they're split into like seven parts, and he specifically orders you after the first one to choose two to watch and then skip to the end. Uh, which is sort of choosing your own adventure. Like it's which is very clever. Yeah. Um, you can just watch them all if you want to, but it's a long watch. <laughs> He does at one point say later on that if you watch all of them, that's totally fine and he appreciates it, appreciates it but like he... <laughs> it's against the rules. He does establish some rules though and he's the game designer. He should know. Also, someone has pointed out um, that if I give you bad advice, I can, I can get higher scores than you. I guess that's true. But only if you take my bad advice. Also true. I love their jiggly little dance yeah. when they start moving. I have the suspicion these two peaches are going to stay separate for the entire rest of this forever alone peaches little run. Especially if I keep on combining things, but I'd rather just... There we go. <gasps> okay, that's better. You were wrong. Your suspicion was incorrect. I'm very glad to see it, too. This is going mm. much better. Indeed. You've got a real nice lineup here. Yeah. Also, be careful, or you're going to push that that pair over. Yeah, I'd rather that not happen. Where you don't want it. Sometimes just placing some other stuff to sort of reinforce a structure. Yeah. Kind of makes sense too. Okay. That said, this is getting a little bit messy. Mm. I looked at chat for like a minute and you started doing things I don't agree with. <laughs> <laughs> if you drop that between the apple and the oranges, mm -hmm. like between the two oranges, you might push that orange back over towards the pear again. Maybe. It would take several things happening for it to get over there, Fair. I think. And when it combines with another orange, it'll probably pop that direction anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Where do I want this Art to go? Flash Hazard, I'm always nice. And Daniel is doing his best, and it's better than mine, and I'm salty about it. <laughs> and that's, that's not great, because this is a sweet game about sweet fruit. But I'm I'm also doing my best to not get jealous. <laughs> Even if the fruit game likes him better than me. For no reason. For no reason. It's not nice for the fruit game to play favorites. It's not. It should be nicer to me. I bought it first. That is true. I did more work to get it. Yeah, you had to go through a lot more steps buying it from the Japanese Nintendo online eShop before it showed up here. Technically, I'm not sure I had to. I think it might have been out on the the North American shop, but I, I was... I don't think it was yet. I think it, like, it was... Not yet? Okay. It was maybe a week after you'd... Uh, oh, okay. A week after you'd bought it that it came out, which, like... I know we talked about it and how it was out on the Nintendo eShop for North America before we released the video. Yeah, that was definitely true. And it was it was inevitable that given the huge yeah. surge that it was of uh, popularity it was getting that it was going to show up. Yeah. Like eventually. The it was the only right choice. But uh But I still think the game should like me better cuz I did more work to get it. You know, it makes sense. Getting these two to combine will be a lot harder. Oh my I'm thinking gosh. it might be better to just start building toward another. Dramatic Gaming says that they watch someone get over 7,000 points. I've seen, like, looking at the, like, the world high score record sort of things in the game, I've definitely seen a 7,000 plus like world high score record. I have no idea how that happens. It is it 
Appar oh, apparently the Suikas delete themselves if touched. Interesting. Which makes sense because that clears up tons of space. And there's barely room in this bin for two watermelons. So, like, just getting to that <laughs> point is pretty astonishing. Wow. That's really cool. It is a soothing piece of music. It is. It's a nice thing to hear in your head when you close your eyes and see fruit. Which has definitely happened to me in the past few weeks. Yeah, I'm not surprised that Repeatedly. getting the Tetris effect sort of thing kicking yep. in for this one. See, like, fruits and they're spinning. Oh, we're getting some shifts. I don't know if some they're good shifts, major but we're shifts. getting them. Dang. Yeah, slow down. Don't evict the apple, please. Oh, it's not going anywhere fast. It yet. is going places, which is less than <laughs> preferred. Well, all you need is... There you go. The orange to to get that. Eh, that's okay. That's yeah, fine. That's that's nice. That I accept nice. this. And then let's start building up here. Well. Ish. Good enough. Ooh. Or Ooh. that hmm. apple's starting to scare me. Me a little bit too. Look, you only have a hundred Less than a hundred to go to hit that two thousand. Oh my goodness. Apple, please. Please. Have just the slightest amount of chill, okay, Apple? Just a little bit. <laughs> Grape just in the center is like, ah! Vibration going on in here. Doesn't feel like the center is going to hold. Look at the pineapple. Pineapple's <laughs> a little excited. The grape is doing stunts. <laughs> Pineapple vibrates intensely. Yeah. This is so it happy does feel looking. like it's going to explode and we should maybe all <laughs> Take stand cover. back. Yeah. <laughs> Unstable fruit. So okay. close. Okay, careful. Oh boy. Do you want to give that a moment? I'm going to set this off to the side because I worry that Combining causing them combinations will... here is going to set off a chain reaction that may not be healthy. That may not be healthy. That may not. But also you can But can't... it's also going to combine here in a way. I want it to combine here and then go to... Ugh. But you can't get you can't get the points you want if you don't combine things. I'm going to hope that I... I'm going to cross fingers on a deck upon showing up uh, and saving the day. Okay. Uh... May not happen. Okay, no, it did. Yeah, it did. Oh just boy! Hopefully in time. Ha! Eh, you did not it. Not quite how I'd hope that would work, but but, but we'll you did it. Make you it got, work. You got past two thousand. Hey, good. That's I something. know. I know that's not like the larger goal for like everybody in the world or whatever, but that that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good win. Pretty good. Quick. Ah! Oh! Too greedy. But just made it across two thousand at least. That's something. All right. You just went a little too quickly there. And yeah, you did cross 2,000. Quick, get that orange in there, bud. Mm. All right. You're up. Me? Yes. I get two again? You do. Oh, oh, goody. What a good game. <laughs> it is funny how this game does inevitably, like, as things start going bad and you start piling higher and higher, you do just always wind up with so many fun configurations of large fruits spaced out perfectly where they can't... Oh my gosh. Or it's nearly impossible to get them to reach. You had one yesterday that was like a, a five-armed pattern. Yeah, of... there was like a peach in the center with like five pairs surrounding it, like sort of a but it simple wasn't... flower shape. It wasn't just five pairs surrounding it. It was five pairs surrounding it spaced out by like five grapes. And then the grapes had like a strawberry each. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was Ooh. very pattern based. St if you want to, we should start a new run and we'll do the Halloween themed one. Oh. If you want to. 
Unless you're feeling really good momentum on this one. I always feel good momentum this early on. All right, I'll, I'll do it next run. Well, it might... I might change my mind soon. Ah. You never know. Like, we're still so early days. Everything looks good this early on. True, true. Everything except those two strawberries that are spaced out. That's going to go too far. But as soon as I dropped it, oh well, it fixed itself. I wish there were more... I wish the mobile game scene wasn't such a just sort of blasted wasteland. Because mm. like this is the kind of game that I wish I could have on the phone yeah. more often. It's a simple thing that is like... And technically you can. It's just not a very... Oh yeah, no, like there's a rip a off of this fun game version. on the phone already, I think. Yeah. But there's also but it's also, I think, got like just oh. the same monetization like a uh, nonsense that makes every phone game impossible yeah. to enjoy. That's fair. Cherry's so smug about launching itself over there and creating havoc by making an apple where I was not intending one. Okay. Go, go, go. Please go. Touch. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so satisfying. Apple, did you need to? I always like how <laughs> apologetic Apple looks. Apple always looks like the, oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. I didn't. Am I in your way? Oh. I didn't oh, mean to. Oh. Oh. It wasn't on purpose. Apple's just like, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I apologize. Get it? Apologize. Oh, I do. Apple. <laughs> None of the rest of the fruit looks apologetic. Hey, thank you for the gifted subs, Ruben Puma. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's very generous of you. But yeah, like none of the other fruit. They're they're all giving <laughs> off different energies. Mm hmm. Orange looks oblivious, or persimmon, whichever you want it to be. I guess it does look more like a persimmon, but I will keep calling it an orange. Uh. Grapes look outright antagonistic. <laughs> Grapes look antagonistic. What about cherry? Cherry looks smug. Like, I can't decide if cherry looks smug or Sus just sort of oblivious and just sleepy is like, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> or like, they suspect that we're not up to any good and they want to stop us. Like, cherries seem like they're having a good time, whatever the case. Strawberries look like they don't want to be here. They're pretty upset that they're involved. Really? I think strawberries look mischievous. They've got a very stern face. If they were smiling, I'd sense more mis mischief from them, but they've got like the frowny eyes and then sort of like a mouth that's just like... Meh. I thought that their mouth was a little smile, so they're like... <laughs> like that's the sound a strawberry makes. Maybe so. It looks oh, like... Oh, daggummit. These strawberries... If strawberries could hiss like a cat, it looks like that's what these strawberries want to be doing. Hmm. Okay, do anything good because I've made a mess down there. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty bad. Very citrusy. Very. Oh, there you go. That helps a little bit. A little. And there you go. All right. Okay. It's not all the way better, but it's improved. Slightly, maybe. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Gum it. Oh well. We just roll with the fruits we're given. You know? If life gives you lemons, then you're not playing the right game. Yes, yes, then something's gone wrong. <laughs> Touch. No? Okay. I see that various folks in chat are also playing simultaneously, which oh, good. I highly endorse. Yes. This is a good move. Can confirm that playing Suica game while watching someone else stream Suica game, it's a good time. I think the hardest part of it is not knowing, like, when to look away from your game to watch theirs. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I do appreciate that this is the kind of game that you can look away from very easily and, like, that's fine. It's, it's very rare that there's going to be something 
timing important wise that you need to do in this game. You can yeah. look away pretty safely. It's true. Go, 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 go. Do it, do it. <laughs> I didn't have a point there. I just wanted to see it happen. <laughs> I think I play the game like that way too often. It's hard not to. No thoughts, just fruit touch. Yeah, like I... Go. I've definitely have nope. to fight the impulse to when I see a fruit that I could combine with another one to like actually think, do one. I want that combination or would that be bad? Mm. So it does definitely require go, go, some go. thought. You, you could make this, this could happen. They're going. They're yeah, I think, go. I think they're, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and nice, nice, yes, nice. Yes, All yes, right. Yes. Okay. Pretty good. Look at all that mess down there on the bottom, though. It's a lot of mess. Uh, and it's never going to do anything useful. Probably not. Just like me. <laughs> You're going to Desert Bus to be useful for an entire week. Oh, I'm going to Desert Bus to be a distraction for all That's the people the... who are being useful. Distraction's kind of the point, though. Like, the whole point of Desert Bus is <laughs> no, we're no, playing no. a very boring game. Let's distract you from it. Right, but I'm going to be distracting the people who are distracting. I'm not... Um, That's an important service. I'd better stop talking or I'm going to get myself in trouble with friends who will tell me that I am wrong. That is true. I am sometimes a little bit too self-effacing for oh, my friends' tastes. Sometimes. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Some, sometimes. A little bit. Sometimes when the fruits touch, it surprises me, and I... It can be startling. <laughs> I'm watching it happen. It shouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but it still does. If it's one that you're not... Like, if you're not looking at that part of the bin at the time, then it's a very... It's always a very sudden pop. That's just like, mm -hmm. whoa. And if you weren't looking right at it, that is just sort of like, wait, whoa, what happened? Whoa. <laughs> There's the immediate panic of, like, has that messed something up for me? Yeah. I want to initiate a rotation. I don't think I'm going to get what I want. I've definitely not Cherry intuited how to like strategically drop stuff to try to get ex the existing pile to sort of like shift and move and rotate around to uh, my advantage. Yeah. I trust the people who get the high scores have figured out kind of how to do that. I'm not always the worst at it, but I'm not great. And I don't think there's much moving that chunk of fruit I've got down at the bottom. No. Just like yogurt, the fruit at the bottom kind is just not good. I can roll with fruit on the bottom yogurt. Really? But. Oh. Okay. I mean... I think, I think my experience of it was ruined by my first introduction to it, where I did not realize you needed to mix it for it to have any sweetness at all. That would definitely have an effect. Like, I'd prefer yeah. not fruit on the bottom yogurt generally, just because that's just, just adding work for me, making me mix the thing, but... Fruit doom. Oh dear, that is fruit not doom. Not even, not, not even... But it's Halloween time. It is Halloween in time November. here. We'll, we'll uh, put it in Halloween mode. Seasonal. Halloween in November. Okay. I can't figure out a way to portmanteau Halloween in November. I guess like Novemberween. Yeah, or I think like it has, to, it can't be a thing that's like actually clever sounding. It just has to be kind of like silly. Yeah, like Novemberween mm -hmm. is, I think, probably the best option. Like with September, you can have like Spooktember, and that sort of feels like, ooh, that's like a, it's not like a portmanteau, but it's sort of like a, ah, this feels sort of right and on purpose. I mean, it is a spook. A portmanteau of spook and ember. 
Tem- blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, it's just not November involving the Halloween. Any of the, it's not involving the word Halloween at all. So yeah, it is. Yeah. I guess portmanteau, but with different words. A portmanteau that cheats. <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, in this version, it's not a watermelon you're building too. It's a jack-o'-lantern. It's true. And some of the faces are different. Actually, well, yeah, yeah, some of them are. Mm-hmm. More toward like, the end. The nashi, the pear is like, mm. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you get to the pear, then they start and having different faces. And we'll see the pineapple as well, once you get to pineapple. It's once we get there. Cute. Alarmed Peach. Oh, poor Peach. There we go. The Halloween music reminds you of overcooked music. It does, actually. This sounds like a very overcooked music. Yeah. Like, I think that the original track being, like, generic Dating sim music feels right, but this does feel like an overcooked track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sort of shifting a little bit more into just sort of like speeds we got a little bit just... <laughs> Going with impulse a little bit more, which is definitely not the smart way to go, but can it, be fun sometimes. It's usually how I play. I I think of it as I'm honing my instincts. That's probably not true, but that's how I think of it. Uh, that, 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 ah! There we go. <laughs> Pineapple's so scared. There goes an orange. Whoa. Just like launch the orange then, I guess. Getting launched. Nyeh. I don't think that's going to happen. Wait, if you drop that on it, it might. Maybe. If it Give it shifts. time. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and, 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 there's and that. apple. Dang. You really needed that Halloween to kick in, didn't you? It does seem to be helping me. Mm, mm. Nah. Mistake. Why? Why would you do I wanted it to go there. But it was But so, it did not work out. It was so perfectly placed. There. Ah. Well, there we got this, this, and ah. boom, and boom. There we go. Excellent. This is much better. That cherry is just gonna... Are the cherry faces different? Uh... I think yeah, they are. Yeah, they are, actually. They're less, like... Yeah, they're less relaxed. They're actually sort of like, mm, yeah. stirring. They don't look as suspicious to me. They look more like angry. Yeah. Hmm. Techie Tome, we're happy to have you here. They they wanted to say that they don't remember how they found Playframe and New Frame Plus, but they're that it's become a consistent enjoyment and they're happy to catch us live. Oh, oh yeah, I'm glad and you to found us hi. too. Yeah. Not really sure how anyone finds us who doesn't know about us already. Hmm. It would probably be beneficial knowledge to know how people actually, under what conditions people actually discover us. I'm pretty sure that there are stream analytics for that, but I don't know how they work. Sort of. Well, we definitely have analytics stuff. Yeah. But uh, you kind of have to make a lot of, as with most metrics, you kind of have to make a lot of guesses when interpreting what it means. Maybe through like friend streams or friend, friend streams. Stuff yeah, that definitely helps, rating. I think. I think there are a few folks who found me or found us through me being on Desert Bus. 
For sure. Which is not, like, why I do it, but it's a nice side benefit. Ooh, looking for Hollow Knight guides. Yeah. And you found my videos, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Those are definitely not helpful in that specific way. But your Hollow Knight playthrough is really fun. Oh, no, I had a great time. But, uh, I really like it. I had no expertise to offer during that playthrough. That's fine. Some people like just watching the experience. It's true. But if you're looking for guides, <laughs> I feel like... I mean, fair. <laughs> yeah, and tried. <laughs> Said the Carrie B's videos in that playlist. <laughs> Which is a, quite the dunk on you. True. I guess if you watch all the way to the very end, <laughs> then as a special treat for sticking it around, you can have some expertise. <laughs> Enjoy. Yep. You really got to earn that useful information and skilled play, though. Right. Got to put in your time. Bunch of folks from back in the day. Um, somebody who found us through Joe Cat, which is awesome. Yeah, that that's makes a, sense too. That's a good, that's a good cat boy. Yeah. Definitely lots of folks who've like, been around since the EC days, which makes sense. That's what I like assume at this point, because I was just fortunate enough to have started making things really early on, like, mm -hmm. and fairly like popular things. That's where I, I assume most of the people who follow our stuff now have been aware of stuff I've been making for a while but it is always a delight yeah just like hearing about where people who have found us more recently like what I'm route sure, they took I'm sure stuff like the Sonic video that's that true was longer than the Sonic movie and was still like incredibly fun to watch which I can say because I had no part in making that oh, I'm very I am very proud of it as well. I do. Oh, no, I honestly I just don't mean... know how I made that in less than a year. <laughs> Looking back. You can be very driven and you can also burn yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> and you have not been operating in a like highly driven state in a while because you burned yourself out a while back. <laughs> I guess it's true. Oh, oh pineapples. Pineapples. Pineapples, why? Back up on strawberry. How dare you keep these pineapples apart? You're ruining their love. They were meant to be. Speaking of, how's the Final Fantasy video coming along? Near done, honestly. Just like I've... It was a video that took a long time for me to be able to actually get started on because of how much re-recording I needed to do and mm. how much sprite work I needed to do. It was a lot. All that's done now, though. Now I'm just working on the video edit, and that's going, because of all the other work I did, going pretty fast. So I'm hoping before November's out, that'll be, well, by December, that'll be <laughs> done and out because I need to be getting the uh, 2023 video Ooh, the ready. animation of 2023 video? Yeah. Heck yeah. I enjoyed those. I enjoyed them too. I, I enjoy all your videos, but like those give a nice like retrospective of the games that have come out in the year. And a lot of times they're games that I've seen you play. Even if you haven't played them for the channel, I've seen them like while you've been just playing here at home. So it's always fun to get to see what you think of them. It's fun to do. There's definitely a lot of games from this year that I still need to look at. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Uh, maybe. There was some shifting. There was some shifting, and then it seemed like it stopped. Yeah. I want those Decapon to be friends. Me as well. Mm. There we go. Yes. And snap. Yes. Grapes. 
Don't worry. Please. Don't worry. You can drop a cherry between the... Pe the, 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 the what is it? You can... Yeah, one way or the other, that'll combine into something. Uh, yes. Eventually. And then... Someday. I don't think I can make that work. Maybe. Nope. Did not bounce the way I hoped, but that's fine. I'll make it work now. Oh. Somebody who got here specifically through Scott DeWitt's Can You Add in a Beach Ball video. That was pretty... Like, a pretty phenomenal video. Scott is an incredible storyteller. Extremely so. And an incredible artist, but like... And what an amazing story, too. But like, so much of it is in how he tells it. Yes, extremely. It it could be like a very painful and sad story. This is kind not Kind of ideal. like this painful and sad story. Yes, this definitely... This Ben definitely tells a story... The Fallen Fruit tells a story, and not a very happy one. Yeah. I don't know if the pineapples would be any happier if you added a beach ball, but you could try. It'd be closer to looking like a beach ball if some of them would combine. This is going to be a bit of an ordeal. I... I... Wait. Mm. Well, some shifting, but not at... Well. I'm going to let stuff shift a little bit and see what sort of happens. Squish. Mm. Okay. Squish. If you drop something small and heavy on the left side of the topmost pineapple, you might be able to get it to move. See. Small fruit definitely has more heft and weight to it, it seems mm -hmm. like, the Small fruit has heft, and the larger fruit tends to bounce more, which is useful knowledge once you kind of like and fake like kind of uh, internalize that. Yeah, somebody in the comments of our Sunday video pointed that out, and it made a big difference for me in how I thought about yeah, it. Yeah, because I'd not had that realization either until I saw someone comment it, and I was like, "Oh, that actually makes sense." Right. But then, as you combine them, as you combine the little fruits, they get lighter. And don't do as much work to hold things down. There we go. Beautiful. It's getting it's so towards close. something. Okay. I guess if we just build another pineapple, maybe. <laughs> Wait. 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 Yes. Okay. That almost bounced out in a bad way, but it's okay. Oh, the honeydew is so pained. Or scared, I guess. Maybe both. Me as well, honeydew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I feel like your games... Mm, that could be wrong. I was going to say, I feel like your games take longer. Probably because you're being more thoughtful about where you're placing things. But it might just be that it feels longer because I'm not controlling it. There's a bit of that. And... Like, if the game is lasting longer, if it's a good run, then it's just lasting longer. And yeah. sometimes I am stopping to think for a for a bit, so yeah, it's it's a bit of that, too. I'm not so good at that part. The stopping and thinking part. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That is pretty nice. Uh, that's not too bad at all. I would have put that by the peach, but okay. This will work. Yes. Okay, now, now you need, need to pry yeah, that we need peach to now get off that the wall. Peach to... Uh, Move the over. strawberry might. Strawberry might. Yes. yes there we go. Suica. Or rather jack-o'-lantern. Heck yes. October watermelon. <laughs> Take it to the beach and crack it open with a stick. Yes. Wait. Now things are looking a whole lot better. Indeed. Well done. And see, I'm not even jealous. I'm fine. Not even a little. What a good sport. Yeah. 
man, it's a good thing you told me about being a good sport back when we first got married. <laughs> <laughs> it's a powerful concept. <laughs> that I'm still working to uh, Have fully you grasp. honestly never heard of it or heard of that I'd concept heard of prior? It. I'd heard of it. Okay. But hear me out. If you lose, of course you would be sad. No, for sure. If you win, of course you would be happy. Yeah, I'm with you. Pretending to be not those things to make <laughs> the other person feel better sounds dumb. <laughs> well, sure, would you say it that way? Uh huh. But for everybody else who's around you, it's way more comfortable if you just fake like you aren't dying inside. I think there might, there might when, be a co crucial component of this that you are also missing. I think it's also about not getting so wound up that you are dying inside from losing... Mario uh, Baseball. Yes. To well, just pull an example out of thin air. Not <laughs> all of us can be so blasé about the games that they're playing with their... Some of us are New gamers husband. and we care, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly. That is just being a gamer, <laughs> which you would know if you were one of those. <laughs> I had a brand new husband to impress. And at he Mario Baseball. needed to know I was good at Mario Baseball and also at games. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I get it. It's more fun for everybody if I'm more chill. But I don't always have the chill. And I'm sorry. And to be fair, a lot of Nintendo's sports titles have... Like... Well, a lot of Nintendo's multiplayer competitive titles have a extreme knack for bringing that... Uh, like, causing that tilting. Mm -hmm. More than most other kinds of games that are more about being competitive. <laughs> and also, They're just extremely good at that somehow. Also, it was on the Wii, so it was like there was a physical sportness to it that I also lack and also didn't want you to know how bad I was at sports, which is ridiculous. I mean, we had known each other for like, we'd been together for five years by the time that we got married, right? Was it only five years? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. It seemed so long at the time, and it sounds so short now. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, good. Somebody went to watch that beach ball story video and, and enjoyed it, and good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad more people have saw, seen that, know of that very, very good beach ball story. Highly recommend. Yes. Um... There was... Somebody asking why you were having to teach me about being a good sport on our wedding day. It wasn't our wedding day. It was like months into our marriage. It, yeah, yeah. It it wasn't like, yeah. We kind of had a lot of other stuff going on on the wedding day. Yeah, like me losing my passport and also not being a good sport about that. Well, I mean, that one was understandable. <laughs> and we did find it. Yes. That was the important part. Ooh, nice. Don't think we're going to salvage any kind of big uh, saves out of this scenario, but it, I'm just seeing how they many points cook. I can get out of it. Yeah. I mean, there's some good stuff happening. There's potential, but like it's... Uh... Also, the bounding box on the jack-o'-lantern is wild, huh? I think it's still using the collision of the... So you of the uh, yeah watermelon, so it's like uh, it's definitely interesting to watch. Let's see. Oof. Okay. Uh, don't know if I can make it happen. Ooh, that could be useful. Wait, if you drop both of those on the grape, then you might. The, yeah. the resulting yes there we go e e indeed e mm, you've got a strawberry coming up true i'm 
Not ideal, but workable. Okay. Hmm. Mm. A little worried that's going to fling some stuff. It might, but also... Oh, if you do it there, then your next Mikan can just go right with it. Yeah, let's... Uh, assuming it'll be... Uh, should there just... There we go. Yeah. All right. Still a little... Ooh. Yes. Oof, boy. Not exactly how I wanted <gasps> it to go, but it's also not a game over, so I'll <laughs> take that. And maybe there's... Uh, no, there's no way. Like, it's two large ones. It's gonna... There's no way we can move there's things no over. There's no spin. There's we'll no... We'll have to... Build another Simply peach. build another large thing. Yeah. Just just simply build another peach. That's yes. all what I would, would do. And see, you can go a little outside the box. You can go a little bit. Just a little outside. So long as they're not... You can actually get s astoundingly outside this t top of this, so long as it's not, like, moving and not, like, completely uh, poking out it from the top. You can... It's more forgiving than you'd think sometimes. Mm -hmm. Uh... Good luck. Sorry, that was because I didn't know what advice to give. Ooh, no, that one. That's working. Working. Ah, Aww. no, too big, too big. Almost a 3K, but not quite. Good golly, though. You're that up. That easily tops my personal best. You're up. And you did it Do we do more well Halloween streaming. or do we go back to our chipper tunes? It worked real well for you. So maybe I should try it, right? Yeah, give it a spin. Ooh, yeah, good idea. After, next time, it's my turn. Yeah, and I'll try for that zero-point game. See how that goes. Mm. That is a good I idea. I am curious. I don't expect I'm going to get very far on that my first attempt as I'm acclimating to the idea, but I'm very intrigued. There's so much physics chaos that can happen that I imagine it's got to be incredibly tough. Yeah. It just sounds easy because it's the opposite of what I normally am. Fighting for and also, why did I think that was a decopong? I don't know. It's twice now I've done that. I think I'm not used to the large screen. I'm used to playing on the Switch. So, like, my peripheral vision is not as sound as it could be. No, it makes sense. I'm used to being able to kind of get the vibe of what's up there at the top without having to look closely. Mm -hmm. And now there's a lot more inches between the bottom and the top of the screen. Very true. That's okay. We'll get we'll get by. Yeah. It'll work. We just have a little strawberry down there that will live there forever now. Probably. Eh, maybe. Yeah, there's still plenty of opportunity to save those grapes. There's hope. There's hope for them yet. Actually. Hmm. Strawberry here and build it. Or strawberry here. Which one? I would say over the grapes... Yeah. Because, yeah, like, that gives you a chance to reach grapes. Mm -hmm. Although I think that Over a lot of the times. Grapes? And then I kind of, I think that. Over these grapes? Those definitely not. Okay, uh, yeah. Well, at least not without some other stuff moving and shifting in for, around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Which could happen. But I think, like, I also make the mistake of thinking, oh, I'll place strawberries here because I'll be able to get another strawberry to reach that strawberry easier than getting grapes to reach that grapes. But then if I do that with the strawberries and they turn into grapes, they may still get wedged before getting down there to reach the other one, depending on how things shift. So Fair. It's not always guaranteed. It's happening, though. And now I can do a, a cherry in there if I need to. Yeah. Not that I need to because here's a strawberry. There you go. No. Nope. My Those grapes. grapes. Those grapes are doomed. They're gone forever. Ne'er again to see the sunshine of another day. The tragedy of being a grape stuck at the bottom of a fruit bin. I wish I could do more 1920s, like, transatlantic accent-y kind of stuff. 
I should work on that. The version you have is quite fun, I think. It's... It's fun. It's just... It's not... Terribly authentic. Well... Getting an authentic version of an accent takes a lot of work. Well, yeah. That's why I said I should work on it. Even getting... So yeah, I feel like even getting something that sounds in the ballpark without sounding like some kind of mockery uh, is honestly, I feel like, achievement enough half the time. Fair. Though the transatlantic accent specifically is like a good one for not having to worry about mockery since it's not a real accent. True. Since it was kind of just invented. Yeah. It, it was literally invented for TV. Or radio or whatever. <laughs> nice. Okay. You're going down here. Go, 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 go. Befriend. Yes. <laughs> yes. Will to every attempted British accent. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, <laughs> I can understand that. I'm still proud of my stupid little fake British accent thing that I came up with. <laughs> the nice thing is British accent is like, oh, they're it's like, like a saying American accent. There's like 50 of them. Probably more. One for every town, yeah? Basically. And every class in every town? Yeah. Yeah. Dang it. Beckupon, why? Why would you do this to me? You were the chosen one. Eh. You can have three in the space of one small town. Which is very cool, but, uh... Hmm. Not... Not nice. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Eric the Orange, that's kind of what I was saying. Like, it's... it's I was comparing it to saying something's like an American accent, because, yeah, the American accent also... There's also, like, 50 of those. There's... <laughs> so many different regional accents within the states that are very different. So many. Don't you know? It's yeah. kind of funny that we even just have something that we refer to as even a southern accent. The southern accent, there's a lot of southern accents. That Georgia is versus true. Texas is quite different. And even like different parts of Georgia. Yeah. Like, yeah, that part of Georgia, like South where my, Georgia, where I'm, like my dad grew up, has a really distinct accent oh, that yeah. is very like uh, that sounds unlike any other part of Georgia that I've ever heard. And then your aunt, I think, aunt by marriage is from Vidalia, and that's like she doesn't have a really strong accent, but that area of the the state can have a really strong, unique. And then like. The one that I picked up at work temporarily was more of a Winderbarrow accent. And that sounds different from, like, anything else. And yeah. then... Fall, little fruits. Oh, oh no, wait. Don't fall. I just let all the trash go to the bottom. Now you're stuck there forever. I'm so sorry, fruit. You'll never grow up to be big. Mm. There's an odd trend of smaller fruit. Not always, but often being better fruit. Now that I think about it. Like more tasty. Cherries, delicious. Okay. Strawberries and grapes, very good. Mm-hmm. But it's like, <laughs> it's up to, it's once you get up to that, that like large size that you start getting into honeydew, cantaloupe, and even watermelon to a degree. To, hey, nice degree territory. Hey. Like, watermelon's very good. I, if, if I have to choose between those three, it's watermelon all day, every day. Good watermelon's good. And pineapple's kind of throwing off the... Uh, Curve? The whole theory. Yeah. The exception that proves the rule. Just like smaller fruits tend to have like a more potent flavor to them, I suppose, which makes a kind of sense. Yeah, it does, actually. 
You know what fruit I wish I hadn't eaten the skin of and become terribly allergic to? Which one's that? Mango. Yeah. Yeah. Don't eat the skin off the mangoes if you're allergic to poison ivy. Yes, Yen. Good watermelon is good, and good honeydew doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Stone cold honeydew opinions. <laughs> Go on. Ah, uh, I was not fast enough. Yeah, I think I'm just... I, I try to do too much by instinct. And it does not serve me well. I'm not careful enough. Like, I understand the impulse, too. Mm hmm There's so many creatures in the wild operate on instinct entirely. They must why? have some, like, know what they're doing. Yeah, why should I be any different? But then the average life expectancy for most things out in the wild is, like, no. three, four. So, maybe we shouldn't model ourselves after them as much. Three or four what? Fruits? Years. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, right. Yes. No, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm sorry. Operating on instinct <laughs> seems to be, like, a really great lifestyle to lead if you are excited about getting eaten by wild dogs <laughs> whose I, instinct is better than yours and bitier. I might have gotten a little lost in what we were talking about. I've definitely gotten lost of what I was talking about a while ago. <laughs> Just kind of didn't stop talking. Ah! Oh. That was better than not that. Even... Oof. Ooh. <laughs> Ugh. Even if I don't really like it. What's the difference between difference between pumpkin and squash? That's I bet there's a very good answer, and I actually am curious now. What kind of squash? Pumpkin is a much sweeter flavor than most like other squash gourd type th things. I mean not all squashes are are gourds in the sense of like a firm exterior like a pumpkin has. Are they all gourds? I guess they are. If you think of like butternut squash or... Um, Let's see. From Google, pumpkins are often larger and rounder with classic orange hues while squash comes in a broad range of colors, shapes, and sizes. So, okay, they're basically... Squash is ah! inevitable. Pumpkin's delicious. I definitely agree with not liking squash. Squash was like my most hated like food as a kid. Some squash is good. I don't know what all the other kids were on about with broccoli. Broccoli's great. But, uh... Only if you don't cook it. Honestly, I feel like it becomes better if you do cook nope. it. Nope. Lies. In some, like, butter, salt, pepper. Evil, terrible so lies. Good. Terrible, terrible lies. Only raw. And wriggling. Except not wriggling, because it's broccoli. No wonder you don't like broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your broccoli? I was... It's a movie quote. I had to say it. Okay. Okay. No points. No points. There will be no points here. You will finally not outscore me. Zero points. Oof. As best we can manage. What happens if you do get a points? I think you lose. You have to start over. Is the idea. This might be a very short game. Quite. So it might be my turn to play again. Possibly. Soon. That's delightful. It is quite possible. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually really challenging. They, uh... Because, like, you're... Inherently, the largest thing you can have is an orange. Mm. So, like... Oh, no. It's yeah, going so, like, to take forever to fill up this whole thing. But, like, the odds of getting a combination mm -hmm. are so high. Especially once the shifting begins. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. As the detrit detritus settles out, this is going to get nigh impossible, I mm -hmm. think.
don't want this many strawberries. Ah, uh, Decapon's shifting wants strawberries to touch. No, Decapon. Ah! Uh, no! Strawberry touch eminent! Stop it! Yeah. You, 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 uh, this is very hard to do. So, lowest score wins? No, I think it's like... I'll do a couple of attempts. Okay. It's tricky. I'm like trying to think of like all the ways I can like separate the different kinds of things that could combine. Oh. Which I don't know if that's the right way to go about it, but it's like... I mean, you don't want a single combination. Not even one. Right. So, separating out based on what could combine after the first combination really doesn't benefit you much. It's true. It's just trying to, like, create more places where you can put more kinds of things. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest problem I'm seeing right now is that you have nowhere to put an orange if yep. you get one. I need to, like, start covering one of these up best I can. And kind of quick, yeah. Which might work. <laughs> we might have a You've spot we can drop this. You you're done. You've got two in a row. Ah, uh, you're right. Yeah, it seems like these this sort of runs very luck-based. Because I can get it that far, but then no further. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, rough luck on that one. I guess it's like time to point on this. Well, here. I'll do a different kind of challenge that is still... Uh, going for good scores. I'm not moving the stick at all. I am just, it's all dropped in the center and timing based. Okay. I'm just seeing how high a score can get just doing that. So. There's something painful about this. That's also very cute. <laughs> it just stops. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Good. Mm. If you'd gone fast, wouldn't that have been better? Maybe. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Like, even though you're not moving stuff around, it is kind of surprising how well you can do. Yeah. Because, yeah, you're not, like, combining stuff instantly. And it may even take a little while, but then as stuff shifts, you might start getting some big combos the further you go on. And yeah, trying to strategize yeah. with timing. Dang. Uh, having it simplified that way kind of brings its own fun out of it. But also, like, the moment where you're like, oh, this is a pretty good a pretty good run so far. I want to really try my best with it, you know? I'll sometimes have that thought, but then sort of like I'll have that like sort of remembering realization is like, oh wait, I've I didn't going get here on okay. my own. Yeah, I didn't get here by strategizing and also if I was strategizing, this would be going a lot better, <laughs> even as is. It's already a somewhat corrupted run. Just let it run its course. Mm -mm. Trust the process. Apples are going to. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and some more little combos yes, coming yes. together. Or not. As the grapes slowly separate. Eh, a little bit. There we go. There's something about keeping a lot of smaller and newer stuff kind of toward the center, which like causes stuff to start pooling there in a sort of way. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of educational, weirdly, to play this way a little bit. Just because it forces you to place things in a way you wouldn't on purpose, and then you sort of see what comes from that, and maybe learn some uh, 
you learn more about how the fruit moves yeah. by eliminating your ability to move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this it's is really neat. not super optimal, though. Oof. But oh, there's things may shift. The, the, the little cherries dancing. Closer and closer. They approach. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Especially once. Eh. Uh, eh. I have a sinking feeling. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Maybe. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Could still the moments end of up hope. happening. The moments of hope and then the moments of. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Ah! Hello! Welcome, Rena and friends. Ooh! Hello! Welcome to Suica Game. Hi, I'm Dan. This is Carrie. And we're playing a no moving challenge. Yeah, I'm just, just sort of for funsies and a little bit of a break. Trying a run in which I don't move the fruit at all before I try dropping it. So every fruit that has been placed has been dropped straight from the center. And if you've not seen it before, this is Suica Game. Normally, you, you move. You, and you try to combine the same kinds of fruits to make larger fruits and see how many you can combine before you, like, fill up the bin entirely. Yeah. It's on the Switch, like, uh, eShop for, like, 3 or $4 or something. And it's an extremely good time. Highly recommend. Mm-hmm. But welcome. What were you all doing before? Rena, what were you playing? Rhythm Doctor. That's... Oh, it had an update Ooh. recently. Nice. I needed to... Like, I dipped into Rhythm Doctor and enjoyed what I played. I should actually... Go back and do some more of it. It didn't seem like it was super long, yeah? Mm, highly recommend. It's hard, though. Ah. Uh, I like me a good rhythm game. You this is getting a little out of hand. Good at it. Even for a all, all middle <laughs> run. This one is ending pretty fast. It's not over. It's not over yet, though. Things are shifting. Just, I don't yeah. know if how much hope there is. It's never over till it's over. True. But that over thing... Well... Ooh. Might be happening a pretty it, soon here. Rena does say it's a super unique... Rhythm game. Ah, oh. there it went. Do you want to try an all center run? All center. And then you can do a real one. I'll try. A middling run. That's a good way to put a it. A middling run. <laughs> it's the silliest <laughs> snowman. <laughs> what? Orange has his face. It was like, why are you about to be with cherries? I just, I didn't even choose to be here. I, I'm going now. No. I guess I should introduce. If you're, if you've not met us before, and you're just part of that rating party, hi. Uh, we oh. usually, most days, are doing stuff on YouTube, uh, the YouTube channel called Playframe. Yeah. Of daily releases. I edit things, and Daniel plays them. You sometimes Wait, play them. Other waves around. Daniel plays them, and I edit them. I don't edit them first. True. He plays them first. It has been in a different order. But yeah. It yeah. would be really impressive if I could edit them before you played them. That it would. I would feel like I'd truly reached the height of my professional skill if I had uh. that capability. Hey, <laughs> nice. But sadly, no. I'm stuck with the temporal restrictions to my edit capabilities. Always too far, Orange. Always too far. 
You can't just bounce like a normal fruit. You've got to go wild with it. Go on, all the way over. There we go. That's I'm now cool. trying to think of what all voices each of these fruits have, because oranges definitely, to me, oh. feel like they have that sort of like, what do you want me to do about it? Sort of like... <laughs> yeah. Sort of a... That, orange doesn't seem like it feels super in control of its life or fate. Orange seems like it has Mabel from um, Gravity Falls. Does have a bit of the Mabel, I yeah, think it's kind the of Mabel smile. face. Smile, yeah. Just, just a very well. Well, yeah, yeah. I can hear the Kristen Shawl. Yeah, <laughs> I love her voice so much. That's another one I'd love to be able to do. Yeah, like some some voice folk have like such a distinct voice that it is really hard to imitate them. Basically yeah. every cast member of Bob's Burgers has a really distinct <laughs> voice that is really hard to imitate if you are not that person. Yep. Unless it's you imitating Teddy and I think you have a very good Teddy It's not that. Like if you actually listen to me and Teddy back to back though, it's not very close. It's I just get okay. so it's like like I can It's more cadence. I've also not, not heard it in a little bit. Like Bobby's dropping the fruit again. Like it's, <laughs> it's part of it is kind of there, but it's like Teddy is also like half of Teddy's performances are also yelling where it, the quality changes quite a bit and I can't mm. even get close. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. The fruit's getting out of control. No, like it's, yeah. no, I lose it as soon as I try to like add strain in. You're very good though at pulling out the, the nuance that you can imitate you're very good at finding that. I think I'd need to, if I was going to do, uh, I'd need to just listen to Teddy lines for a while and just try mm -hmm. to, like, kind of do that thing where you're just Immersed trying to, Im to, Im to, like, imitate line by line and see, try so you can yeah. try to find it. Uh, I'm impressed, like, now that you're, like, thinking of Kristen Shaw, I'm impressed at how, like, the voices for Ooh. Mabel... And Louise Belcher are, it's so basically different. mostly her voice, but they feel so radically different as characters and not just because of the dialogue. She really brings a slightly different, like, it always sounds very clearly recognizable as her, but every voice character she plays, including her character on BoJack Horseman as well, also feels and sounds very different, even though it's just her voice. That is really interesting. It's really impressive. I'm, I'm pausing for a bit because there's so much jiggles. There's a lot, yeah, there's I'm a lot of curious what fruit the jiggles motion are happening doing. right now. <laughs> they're all very excited to jiggle around, but I don't think they're actually going anywhere with it. Not anytime quick. Go on. Uh, uh, Seriously? The worst part is you can't even use this orange to, well... I mean, I can use it to something. True. Oh! Oh, that, that a, scared me. <laughs> that's a good point, Raz. Like, like uh, H. John Benjamin's Archer and Bob are also very clearly him, but quite different. I guess yeah. that's the thing. If you are if you have a really distinct voice, even just giving a bit of a different emotional, like, uh, energy level performance and just slightly different cadences will bring a lot of uh <laughs> Didn't he have character. something where Archer met Bob? There was an opening to one of the Archer seasons where, like, Archer had gone, like... Forgotten like, who that, he like, was and was Yeah, like, like he was living, living like, his second life. life as Bob and so all that. Yeah, they just did, like, a weird crossover thing, which was very fun. All right. We're at the end of the game. It's two very good shows. They are two very good shows. It's true. In different ways, but... Yeah, I, I feel like Bob's Burgers is more consistently great, but Archer is just... Very, it's like it's a very good time. I, I always think, have a good time watching Archer. Yeah, I think Bob's Burgers is more consistently great and more timeless. Yes. I think that Bob's Burger or that um, Archer is more of a moment. Yeah. We're going nowhere with this. Nobody's no. going to move. Nobody's shaking in any interesting ways. No, I think this this might be the end of it. Maybe. Fruit Doom. Yep. Fruit Doom achieved. Now you can do a real one, though, if you want to. I can? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you'll probably have to, like... We'll probably have to wrap up soon, so you can actually, like, go to bed to well, start your stupid early morning... Early morning, yeah. Desert bus hijinks. I have to go to bed. 
you don't have to go to bed. That's true. I probably have stuff I should actually do, though. What? Like videos to edit or something. You don't do stuff. That's ridiculous. Don't lie to the people. Telling them you do stuff. Definitely fully agreed, Yen, that, like, Bob's Burgers, like, season one, like, the first half of that first season is very figuring it out rough. But boy, once it clicks, that show. <laughs> Good night, Will. Impressive. Good night, Will. Boop. Oh, is there a stretch in season seven or eight where it sort of like loses the loses the plot a bit? I've not watched one. Well, I've not watched Bob's Burgers in a while. I've been meaning to catch up. Uh, Aww. I thought you meant Archer. Lost Archer's, the plot. Archer's lost a lot of cast members. Well, not a really? lot, but it's lost like just uh uh what's her name who like plays Archer's mom like she passed years ago she did that's right uh -huh. and she was such a strong personality in the show yeah yeah Jessica Walters thank you man she was good gosh she was funny <laughs> she was funny in everything right? like anytime she needed to be funny for something boy is she funny amazing oh did Archer just kind of like last season air recently mm -hmm. that's right like that's I, I say... Mm, I honestly like seeing but, shows end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Compared so, to... Good for them. The zombification of The Simpsons yeah. kind of thing. Which I weirdly like... Maybe it's... I maybe hear it there's has good things now. Suddenly having a weird, interesting renaissance this cool. year. Uh, which I only know from watching a super... That I only know for the same reason most people probably are aware of that by watching the same Super High Patch Wolf video I did. But it's <laughs> it's a very good video. And also really interesting. Like, I don't know if it's any indication of, like, a new trend or anything, but it seems like there's some Oops, old new changes to how they're kind of, like, approaching Simpsons writing that is uh, hmm. helping it to actually be, in, like, do interesting things again. Cool. It... It has been too good a show for too long for it to stagnate out like, the way that it yeah. has for years. It's it's kind of... If they can find a way to keep it going, that makes me happy, even if I'm not necessarily the person they're keeping it going for. Yeah. You know? I guess I kind of feel a lot of the same way a lot about a lot of the other similar shows that sort of followed it like family guy american dad all those mm. others like like they're not for me i'm not watching them regularly anymore but like for a lot of folks i'm confident that's a sort of like a comfort viewing sort of a regular thing to watch and mm -hmm. especially with a comedy like so long as it's still being funny then that's all you really need from it <laughs> so like yeah like in some ways shows that are not super serial narrative focused can endure long term that way so long as it can find ways to continue sure bringing the charm of comedy like bob's burgers has done quite well like shockingly well at that at uh maintaining just that similar like spirit and comedy for a pretty long stretch now all the garbage makes friends on the bottom of the bin and we like yeah. Doesn't it feel so freeing now actually being able to like move and control your destiny? Actually, like you played yeah. with weights on for a second there and now you're like, okay, now you're nothing not, can stop me. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Something can stop me and it's it's fruit that will challenge my planned placement. It's that apple at the bottom. That's what's gonna stop yeah. me. Is anyone still watching American Dad? Is it? Is it good still? There was like I haven't watched it in many, many, many years, but there was something like there was something special about it emerging right at that time when it looked like when Family Guy had been canceled and it looked like that was done and American Dad was just going to be the new thing that uh, Seth MacFarlane was doing, and then Family Guy came back and was very successful and it sort of seemed like like all right, what place does American Dad have anymore? Like they there's a lot of overlap here, and now the thing now the now the original thing is back as popular. What is this? It seemed like the show was just sort of like lingering, teetering on the edge of cancellation for a while. And in that window, 
it actually turned into a pretty special time because it felt like the writers just decided, all right, let's start getting weird with it. And it mm. that it made the show way more fun. And I don't know if that's continued past, like, again, it has been at least a decade since I was watching any American Dad at all. But, uh... Any Seth MacFarlane stuff at all. Yeah, I haven't really watched it. I guess, like, if you're not watching one of those two, I guess that's... That's kind of, kind of it. it, yeah. Whoo, that grape almost... What? I didn't see it. Destroyed you. Nah, <laughs> nah. That, didn't happen. That... See, that's why you focus on the bottom of the bin, because you just don't notice that. You stay chill. You stay frosty. That grape came for the king, but missed, and now it's a decapon. So, <laughs> that'll learn it. No, you just, you relax, you kick back. You chill out a little bit. You don't let these things get to you. Orville, that's the other Seth MacFarlane show. Thank you. I knew I was forgetting something. Orville? That was the one that was very, <laughs> like... Uh, it was like a live action sort of like comedy Star Trek type thing. Hmm. That I heard good things about. I never actually watched. Haven't heard of it. So I don't. It was his love letter to Star Trek, basically, which makes sense. Aww, There's clearly that's sweet. it's abundantly clear that Seth MacFarlane loves Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right age for it yeah. too. Like in our same kind of general age group a lot of us grew up with that which made it seem all the sweeter that patrick stewart so seems to so love coming oh, in to do yeah. voices for seth MacFarlane things because he just loved doing comedy silly comedy things that I must mean, have been quite the treat for the <laughs> for the creator as a huge trek fan between his work as like a shakespearean actor and his work on star trek he really got typecast into serious yeah a particular kind of serious. Yeah. But gosh, Patrick Stewart is really funny when he's given <laughs> a chance to like play a goofy comedy character. Definitely not what I expected of like my TV granddad kind of yeah. <laughs> vibes. <laughs> like, Grandpa can't say that. Grandpa can't be like that. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. And I really like seeing people outside their typecast roles. It's like I Yeah. Cause most of the time those performers are capable of far, far more of anything. Like mm -hmm. anyone who is typecast into a kind of thing is definitely capable of a lot more than that. Maybe they're like happy and comfortable within that space and the, like good, good for them, but like I feel like it's probably rarer to find an actor who really only has like one kind of mode and role and character in them. Yeah. Woo! Ooh, that went very well. It did. I noticed you're not telling me about any fruit that tried to escape. Yeah, like I'm that just like combination like all popped any. like downwards. Like nothing was like launching upwards in a threatening way. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's what we like to see. That's not what we like to see, Cherry. Get back here. You've got things to do. Oh, I've actually even got that honeydew near the bottom as well, which is like that's rare in my experience, but a good thing. I'll take it. It was not an intentional choice, but I will take it. Very little in this game is an intentional choice for me. It's all just happy accidents. Especially the sleepier I get. Being sleepy brain, doing pretty good. Eh, you say as I make a terrible mistake that will ruin me. Go on, let the deco pond touch. Yes. Come on. Go on. Do it. Let yeah, it in. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Peach is like, I got apples for shoes. <laughs> oh peach you're ridiculous right that's how we got talking about voices and stuff what trying to think of what voices oh, yeah. these different fruits seem like they should have the, I already did the strawberry and it's like 
You'll never best me. I'm a strawberry. <laughs> this will never go the way I want it to. Okay, this one will though. Hey. Nice. Wow. Hmm. Okay, hear me out. Nice. I don't. I don't want these. I want the small stuff. This is the small Ooh, stuff I want. Ah, yeah. oh, dang. Well. Okay. Who would I cast as Link in the live action Zelda? I. I I would not. Hmm. I am sure. Like, I am sure there is a good answer to that question. Like, you get the right director and the right casting director. I feel like someone could find a casting pick for Link that I would read about later and be like surprised about, but then think about it and be like, yeah, okay, all right, maybe, all right, sure, let's see, let's see how this goes. Um, I like, I do need to, I don't think this is going to be news to anyone. I do need to let you all know, like, this is, this is not going to be a good movie. There was, there's no scenario in which a Legend of Zelda movie comes out and is good. Well, excuse me, princess. There... Did I do it right? You did. <laughs> <laughs> you did the thing. <laughs> I was trying to think of something to say about this movie. I had no idea what was happening, and I just figured I would throw in the two cents that I had. Yeah. And it's not even the, it's not even that it's going to be live action. If it was animated, it was also not be good. In fact, now that we've seen the Mario movie, like assuming they would continue like working with Illumination and others, that I think we could then confidently say there's no scenario in which the Zelda movie comes out good. Honestly, I'm kind of happy hearing that they're going to do something live action with it because now that's like kind of a wild card. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Probably not good, but I know what the animated version would be, and I know that's not good. Okay. I feel like Zelda, a good, an actual good Zelda movie would be an animated one, but I don't, that's not the one that Nintendo is going to see about getting made, like, see to getting made. Okay, hear me out, though. Or rather, hear out IR Mags for real. Dan Jones as Link. Dan Jones as Link. Hmm. He's got the hiccup voice. He has got He's the got, hiccup like, voice. the right range. The range that would, like, feel right. I think. It does feel like sort of that, yeah, that like higher, you do definitely need a le like a, a level of androgyny to link for it to work, I think. Uh, and, or like, <laughs> is it Kirk Fu saying no, Dan Jones is tingle? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that is, you're you're correct. Oh, you're not the only one saying it. Many people are saying it. <laughs> it's hard to read things on my phone. <laughs> uh. Mm, Tilda Swinton. I was definitely thinking of a femme or non-binary person for Link, but I don't know actors very well. Yeah. I, th I think there's pretty much no way to... There is no way that, like, the only version of a interesting, honestly, anything Nintendo, any of Nintendo's properties, the only way to make a good movie out of any of them is to make something that is very different from the source material. Mm -hmm. Like, Nintendo's games thrive as being games. Very few of them are actually telling substantial stories, and the ones that try often aren't all that good, if we're being honest. Uh, oh, wait. New question. Yeah. Live action Zelda. Mm hmm. What dog do you cast as Link? That's true. Honestly. Because my first thought was definitely like Sheltie or like Border Collie kind of thing but then i thought golden retriever mm. a golden retriever this is this is honestly this is a bit that i have for some video someday when i'm like it was a video that i oh, wrote no. did i 
Spoil uh, the bit? No, no, no. No, like, I, I won't be just giving the whole bit away here. I've definitely got a bit about Link as, like, Link is functionally a dog in Zelda games, and that's not a bad thing. And the fun part of that is then thinking about, like, he's, like, he's different kinds of dogs in different Zelda games, too. Mm-hmm. And that's fun to think about. Honestly, they all we've bring been a different talking, kind of dog energy. We've been talking about this so long. I thought you had done that bit I, on the I channel. I darn near already. made the video and then just kind of like like got up through like recording the actual narration and then just decided, you know, what, I'm going to do work on something else. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like Twilight or like Tears of the Kingdom had been out for a while. It felt like I kind of missed the window. Let's I'll talk about this some other time. Um, Link should basically just be a dog, though. Mm -mm -mm. Seriously thought you'd already put it out. I'm sorry. No, it's quite all right. <laughs> Link is a dog doing fetch quests. Right, like he's just... He is... Extremely loyal. <laughs> he is... Doesn't talk. Doesn't talk. And <laughs> all right, uh, just to give one joke line away, like doesn't talk. But like, if you imagine if dogs could talk, they probably would be pretty annoying. Like Link, anytime Link has talked, <laughs> he's been very annoying. It, like the more you think about it, the more it makes sense that Link should just be a dog, or that Link <laughs> is, has always been a dog who has been put into the body of <laughs> this little hero boy and is just doing the best he can. I want to see the Legend of Zelda where Link is a dachshund. If you just if you think of an anime where <laughs> somebody gets isekai into being a dog in a fantasy universe, or no, a dog gets isekai into being a protagonist in a fantasy universe, that's literally Zelda. That is like it just that's what Zelda looks like. <laughs> or Zelda games would look identical to that anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the more you think about it, the more fun it gets. So I highly recommend doing so. But we're going to start winding down. <laughs> I have to go to sleep. Yes, it's true. We got to start winding down, calling it an evening. Getting some chill tunes going again. But thank you all for joining us for some yeah. chill hangouts with fruits and random conversations. <laughs> mm. Will there be another show in Yale? At some point, yeah. We haven't like got a schedule figured out for it or anything, but it's the thing that we... Uh, had in mind as a possibility to come back and do semi irregularly. Oh, someone redeemed a hydration ping earlier. Oh, yeah. You'll be happy to know I've been drinking water, but I will drink more. Perfect. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's both have, let's all have some water. Oh, yeah. If anyone wants to swing by Desert Bus for Hope, it is starting on Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. And um, my first shift will be on Sunday at 6 a.m. to noon Pacific time, which is entirely too early in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, show up at your own risk, I suppose. Yeah. But yes, the bus is coming. It's true. Yeah, highly recommend going and enjoying some desert bus times. It'll be going for a week, so you'll have plenty of time. And even in the windows of time where Carrie is not on and is probably sleeping somewhere, it'll still have lots of good folks on and raising money for a good cause. Like, so many good folks. A lot of very good folks. Saraya is involved in the comms team this year. Yeah. She was last year too, but she'll be kind of bopping around doing her thing in the evening times. Mikey Newman's going to be um, on one of the shifts, yeah? I actually didn't know that. I but think so. I am not surprised. In one of the, the folks, one of our friends who is here in chat a lot, Ashton, is also going to be on Dawn Guard with me. Um, awesome. Geez, there are so many people, and I'm probably not remembering the people that would be familiar to our chat. Uh, oh, Mikey's on Alpha Flight. Cool. Oh, okay. Sweet. Nice. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. 
a lot of good folks going around the clock for a week, playing a very boring game, but being very entertaining while doing it. And it's a very good time. Highly recommend you go. And if you're awake at the time when Carrie is on from 6 a.m. To, to noon Pacific time. Bless you. Definitely go keep her company. I'll be here caring for cats. Oh my gosh, they put Mikey, Jacob, and Andy all together? That's going to be one heck of a shift. Oh boy, we're going to get like... Ah, uh, Jacob and Andy's made of meat sketch from like 2020, I think. 2019? I don't remember which year it was. They've done made of meat a couple of times and it's amazing. Yeah. It's lots of very fun people being very fun. Oh, just the, around the clock. The Twitch channel. Oh, shoot. I used to know this. Well, if you go to desertbus.org, that'll give you all the information you need about yes. Desert Bus in general. And it starts on Saturday. And I think it's Desert Bus as the Twitch channel, but I'm not. Shoot. Twitch.tv slash Desert Bus. Yes. There. Oh, good. Saved it. Thank you. But yeah, thank you all for joining us. Let's see who's still on. Well, I mean, game's done quick is. So if y'all, if anyone's ready to see Silent Hill done very fast, <laughs> Silent Hill Homecoming specifically. <laughs> let's go. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. We will see you all again sometime soon. I guess Carrie sooner than me because she'll be the one who's like actually live and streaming somewhere. But Daniel's sooner than me because he's got a video that comes out tomorrow morning. So True. That's true every day. Know. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, more play frame tomorrow in case the spoilers. There will be another video tomorrow. <laughs> and then the one day <laughs> after that also. Anyway, bye. Goodbye. We're going to... Oh, hang on. It's making me wait for like 10 seconds. Someone said Dan Jones is going to be on GDQ tomorrow. Wait, really? Is he, like, hanging on the couch, or is he actually doing a run? What? What? Hang on, we can't leave until someone clarifies what they meant by that. Cancel the raid. I need to know. I can't hit the button until I know what someone meant by that. He's a part of it. Oh. Doing one of the regular shows. How do we not know this? I'm gonna Dan? Go bother that goofus right now and ask him, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's super cool. Anyway, to GDQ, bye! Goodbye!